Is this a new revolutionary invention or is it just hype? Because it got quite a lot of hype. This is a highly funded Kickstarter project. So let's find out if it actually can do what it says it can do. A portable washing machine, like what? Got the new drip from a wash. Wow, this is the W1 laundry ball in green. As you can see, by the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen, link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we have the box. Then we have this on the bottom. The rest is just blank. And yeah, it's green, the green one. Boom, there we go. We have the paperwork and the ball itself. And we also have a charging cable. All right, there we go. Hey, pretty cool. It's like a, well, I'll talk more about it in the first impressions. Again, simple charging cable, USB-A to USB-C. And then the paperwork, Chinese and also English. So let's see, contents and instructions, how to use it, precautions, specs, features, and also after sales service. There we go, done with the unboxing. Let's get to my first impressions and then also to a close overview. So here we go, it feels it feels like a rubber ball. It feels pretty cool, pretty solid too. And yeah, as you can see, it's compact. I mean, it's not heavy, but it's it has a bit of weight to it. And it's looking pretty spacey, I have to say. And yeah. Oh, so it's fully charged, as we can see. Charging port here. All right, close look. Let's go. Well, there isn't much more to see. The electrolysis will take place, of course, inside here and the generated detergent will come out through these holes. Then we also have this ring around here. Super solid. You can't like screw it open or something like that. And for charging, we have the USB-C port back here. We also have two of these contacts maybe and a four segment LED display and just, ah, you need to push it a little bit so it's not touch sensitive but yeah this is what it will look like ah i think this is actually how it will recognize if it's in the water or not so if it's not in the water it will turn itself off again and when water is actually connecting these poles then it will probably start doing the thing oh yeah you can actually hear it it's definitely staying on but i would i will need more water let's drop it inside here so my theory was correct. It will stay on when it's touching water. This is so interesting. Check this out. Now you can see it perfectly. Wow, this is, what is this? It's crazy. So yeah, it's doing its thing. And there are also bubbles coming out. Still smelling like normal water. Water electrolysis. I think it's ripping the water apart to O2 and H2, I guess. But yeah, you can clearly see. Oh, that's that's better. Wow, it's actually generating a lot and it's looking pretty cool too. Yeah, and with a setup like this, you can already start to clean stuff. For example, these baby pacifiers right there. Pretty cool. You can drop in all sorts of Kitchen appliances, you can go nuts, drop in everything. And when you're done, yeah, just pull it out and it will turn itself off pretty much a few seconds after you took it out. Alrighty, not bad, right? So let's finally put it to the test. For this test, I want to wash my jacket. It's not really that dirty. Minor, minor stains at most. So for this, this should definitely do the trick, especially if it will disinfect it and kill gems and bacteria. It's not that dirty, so I would be fine with that, I think. So let's see. So there we go. No detergent, of course. And I will use this. Okay, let's see. And by the way, if you're wondering, it will actually turn itself on when it will come in contact with water, as you can see right here, because I was thinking like, hey, if I turn it on, then it will turn itself off right away in the washing machine, but it will actually turn itself on. So done, let's see. Where is the ball? There it is. It already turned itself off, so that's perfect. 
Let's see, still three dots left. And now I'm curious, so smell test. Smells pretty good, but I think I will have to let it dry for a bit. So I will get to the result later on. And here we have the next experiment. As you can see, my white Nike Go Fly E's, they are quite dirty. Oh my goodness. And I just want to try it out. Let's just throw it into the washing machine with this little guy. I will use the same program for it. 40 degrees, fine wash, basically. Other than that, everything on the regular setting. No detergent, of course. So yeah. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so I already removed the ball. We're still at three dots of charge level. And the reason for this might be that this program is actually a bit shorter than a full program. And I'm talking like about a regular program. But yeah, so my shoes are stuck to the wall. But they actually, well, they look way cleaner, that's for sure. I probably also will have to wait for them to dry, but yeah, not too bad. And meanwhile, let's get to a bucket test. By the way, we are still at three dots, so great battery life. And while I'm waiting for the shoes and for the jacket to dry, I will go for a bucket test. I will go for the hand washing method. So I have a d rather dirty towel right here. And by the way, we already know that it will turn itself on and off, as you can see right here. If you use it in a washing machine with a lot of clothes, one of them is sufficient for two to three kilograms of laundry. If you have more than that, like three to five kilograms, it is recommended to get a second one. And also one cleaning cycle takes 20 minutes and then it will turn itself off. That's the logic behind that. So I will let it soak for 20 minutes as well. Maybe even put the dirty spot right over it to see what will happen like that and now I'm curious what will happen to this dirty spot and I will also help it a bit I guess that's allowed so you know just ring it a bit and see what will happen and um, if it will come out and such all right and you should not use additional detergent with the ball so just like that let's see so the washing cycle is done Okay, we're down one, one LED light. So four cycles easily, probably more. So because this was already the third one and I only lost like not even half of the battery. Anyway, so that's the outcome. So as you can see, the water has gotten quite a bit dirty and there is a debris swimming around in here. And I think two or three times I was like, I did this basically, I did this, just this. But yeah, this was definitely a ma major stain and it has gotten quite a lot better. So this would probably need a second go to fully get out the dirt. But yeah, pretty, pretty nice results actually. Didn't expect that. But what's even better, I think, well, first of all, here we have the jacket. It's still a bit wet. This will probably take two more days to dry, but it smells really fresh and nice. It smells great. Smells like new, love it. Yeah, now check out the shoes. These turned out very well, especially back here. This is looking so clean, this fabric back here. So it also did a great job on the shoes and all of that with a zero detergent. And we're still at two out of four dots, 50% of charge level. So yeah, I'm pretty surprised actually. Works better than expected. Big thumbs up from my side. So as you saw, this little device right here will basically replace your laundry detergent. And thanks to this fact, over time, it has good chances to pay for itself and then some. So that's the first reason why this is actually a no brainer. It is a money saver. Secondly, this is in fact a portable washing machine. You can take this anywhere you go. It's light, it's yeah, portable. And other than that, you just need a bucket and water. Drop in your clothes, drop in this thing and boom, let it cook. I mean, let it do its thing. And when it's done, you have fresh clothes again. By the way, this will also kill gems and bacteria. The only thing that you need to do is to charge it from time to time over USB-C, pour this back here, and one charge will give you four washing cycles. And thirdly, no more detergent also means that it's good for the environment, of course. Pretty cool, right? And lastly, you can also get creative with this thing because you can clean up and disinfect basically everything, everything that you can drop in water, food, 
like vegetables for example, all sorts of kitchen appliances, stuff for kids, for example, baby bottles or you know, pacifiers and stuff like that. Well, you name it and you will probably come up with many more interesting ideas. Maybe drop a comment below, but don't get too crazy, please. <laughs> so yeah, all in all, definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.